Home invasion leaves a man dead, a grandmother in the hospital, and a nine-year-old girl injured. Today, city officials, community organizers, and police going door-to-door -door in that Stockton neighborhood in response to the recent gun violence that's been happening there. Fox 40's Christy Gross was able to talk with community members about what they say needs to change to stop that violence. Christy. Eric, people in the community and officials alike are calling for unity as yet another Stockton family grieves the loss of a loved one. You know, to me, it's, uh, he definitely left a hero. Friends and family are mourning the loss of 32-year-old Tyrone Deloney, who was killed protecting his family during a home invasion. The uh, honorable sacrifice, you know, I mean, what more can you ask that a person lays their life down, you know, to protect their family? You know, that's... Um, the utmost respect and honor to him, uh, to his name, to his family. You know, definitely something to he'll be remembered and cherished by. Police arrested Frederick Wesley on murder and other charges. They say he knocked on the door and forced his way inside an apartment with four people, including an 18 year old woman and three children inside. Investigators say Wesley pistol whipped a nine year old girl, then shot Deloney and the kid's grandmother when both rushed in to help. He was a good dude, you know, never did nobody wrong. Uh, Everybody knew him to have positive things about him, you know, uh, very family oriented, you know, lovely guy. One heart, yeah. one love. Yeah. In response to this latest tragedy, as well as the surge of homicides in the city this year, the Stockton Police Department's neighborhood impact team, along with city officials and community organizers, canvassed the neighborhood. I hope it shows that we have one singular voice and that everyone wants the same thing, which is a reduction in crime in our city. What you see here today is, is, is a representation of the unity and a reflection of the unity that it's going to take to bring hope and healing uh, in, in some sort of, of peace uh, it, back to our community. Police say the neighborhood impact team responds to every community where a homicide occurs. To let people know that after the crime scene tape goes down, that the police aren't gone, that we're still here, that we're still available, and we're still a resource, and we want to help support them. Overall, you know, it's time for us to come together from all sides, you know. You know, um, I think it's time for all of us to come out of our safety zones, you know, get uncomfortable and really get in these streets. There have been 16 homicides this year compared to seven this time last year. I believe that if you're going to really make change, you know, it has to be consistent and it has to be before we're suffering. While community members say the response to date was welcome, they also say police and city officials need to be more proactive. On how we're going to build our community back is, is, is to build the structure where people see you when it's not bad. You know, people see you just on, on a regular basis, come out, you know, and just talk to people, get to know the community, you know, get to know the family, get to know the kids without it being a, a trauma related incident. Police say while there was an arrest made in this case, they're going to need the community's help to solve others. Live in Stockton, Christy Gross, Fox 40 News.